Next uh, presentation is going to be made by Mr. Nitin Joseph. He represents uh, the uh, well-known uh, business school from France. Uh, this is the IESEG School of Management in France. And Mr. Nitin Joseph is going to make a presentation on uh, business management and marketing accounts and finance. Uh, the IESEG School of Management is a leading business school and amongst the top private universities uh, in France. The school is accredited by Equis since April 2012. Now, those of you who are interested in uh, going uh, abroad for an MBA, you will be familiar with these various uh, accreditations and qualifications. Uh, so you will be able to appreciate that IESCG is uh, accredited by Equis since April 2012. It is also accredited by AACSB since March 2013 and with AMBA, AMBA since uh, August 2016 and is fully recognized by the French Ministry of Higher Education, Research and Innovation. So with that, uh, we invite uh, Mr. Nitin Joseph uh, to kindly uh, make his uh, start with his presentation. A uh, very warm welcome to Nitin. And uh, Nitin, let me just uh, inform you that we are uh, almost on time. We are running a few, three minutes, three, four minutes late. You will have your uh, full half an hour. I would request you to keep your presentation for 20 minutes and leave the ta last 10 minutes for questions and answers. And also during the course of your questions, kindly remember to uh, select uh, two questions which you think are the most interesting and relevant from your point of view. So with that introduction, uh, if you can just uh, let us know your mic is working. Yes, I could just hear you. And I, okay. Wonderful. So I will disappear for now and the next few minutes are yeah. yours. Perfect. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, so hello, everyone. My name is Nathan Joseph, and I represent IESEG School of Management, uh, which is a French business school that comes under uh, one of the number one universities, uh, number one private university in France called Lille Catholic University. Uh, so uh, as you all know a little bit about our school, uh, you've already heard that we are a triple crown. So normally when you wanna go study abroad, it's always good to know about the various accreditations that's there uh, for a business school. And we are the top 1% business school because we got a triple crown. That's Equus, AACSB and AMBA. Um, moving forward, uh, these, are, these are all the international accreditations and we also got some regional accreditations. Uh, one is the Conference Grande École, uh, which is a CGE, all the top schools or the elite schools in, uh, when I say schools, is colleges and stuff. Uh, all the elite schools are a part of the CGE. Along with schools, you got companies and government officials, everyone that plays an important role over here. Uh, we also have a recognition from the French Ministry of Higher Education, Research and Innovation, uh, called the CEFDG. So this is a cool thing and it's something new as well. Uh, we just got it two months ago. Um, and that shows, the, that also proves the quality of education that we focus on. Moving on um, to our rankings. So two weeks ago came the latest FT ranking. So we are 33rd in the world, no more 32nd. We are sixth in France. Uh, 21 in QS, uh, and two of our programs are in the top, are top of the leagues. We also have the Chinese, uh, the academic ranking of World University, uh, that is the Shanghai Global Ranking, and we have also been featured at The Economist. And also in France, we have one of the top uh, rankings. Moving forward, so I'm just going to, you know, take these uh, all these things really fast because I was able to go through your common questions while sitting for more than an hour and seeing all your you know questions at the at the public platform. Anyway, uh, if you can see most of our uh, programs or sorry, most of our professors are international. Hundred percent of them are PhDs. Uh, we have 2,500 corporate partners, 9,000 graduate, 2,600 international students. So just to let you know, all our programs are in English and 
almost 50%, well, 46.2% as per the latest statistics, shows that they're all international, coming from more than 40 countries. Um, but yes, of course, we got, uh, though they come from 40 countries, they have different nationalities. Anyway, moving ahead, we got two campuses. So one is in Paris. In Paris, we are located at La Défense. And if you actually, if any of you have been to Paris or if you explore the world maps, there's only one place in Paris that's got high rise buildings. And that's La Défense, which is currently the biggest financial consulting hub of European Union. And we are at the heart of the city. Uh, so just to give you an example, maybe if you're gonna have a breakfast, which is gonna be croissant or uh, an espresso down here in Paris, you might be sitting with the vice president of HSBC or something. So that's how how network, how good and how effective the networkings happen in the Paris campus. While the Lille campus uh, that is located at the north of France, we are very close to this place called Dunkirk. So if any of you have seen the movie Dunkirk, you know what you know the history behind it. However, it's also uh, one of the it's also well known for the biggest international business incubator in France called Eura Technology, as well as it's the home, or that's where Decathlon started, as well as Accor Hotels. Uh, I hear that nothing is audible. Uh, I hope, can can anyone give me a gesture if, if you guys are able to listen to what I'm speaking? Can you hear me? Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Anyway, uh, going ahead. So the, we always say you can live in France, you can study in English. However, French plays a very important role. Um, and in India, you have a lot of opportunities to learn the language, mainly because uh, you got the Alliance Francaise, that's the cultural uh, wing of the French embassy, as well as the Campus France, that is the educational wing of the French embassy. And together they put up a lot of events all over India. They's got 14 centers, if I'm not wrong, um, where you have the opportunity to learn the language as also get as well as get free counseling from the Campus France managers, which is a, an amazing opportunity for all of you. Anyway, going ahead, we have a lot of programs and everything. So I'm just gonna skip this so I can get give you more time for um, for the Q&A. Uh, we got a grant call program this five years, three years of bachelor program. We got 10 one-year programs, an international MBA program, an executive program. So we got a lot of those. And just to give you a gist about the one-year programs, these are three semesters. You got two semesters of in-class studies, one semester of internship, uh, the MBA, we are the youngest MBA in the world. That is nine months, uh, well, the youngest MBA as per the AMBA accreditation. That is nine months of in-class studies with four to six months of uh, internship. And if you want to be eligible, you need to have three years of work experience after your undergraduate. Uh, whereas the other programs, that is the Master of Science programs, uh, majority of the students are eligible for the programs. However, some of them do require certain uh, what we call experience level, especially when it comes to the consulting program or the big data analytics program. Anyway, yeah, so we got an intense school life. We we do a lot of parties. We also, uh, we believe in work hard, play hard. That's what we do. Uh, so let's go to the question and answers. Okay. Is this university recognized? Uh, just to let you know, we are business school, we are under a university, so yes, we are recognized. But more than that, we are also a triple crown, so that gives a, a better value, plus we are also recognized by two regional accreditations. Exchange program from Indian universities, we do have most of the Indian Institute of Management, Christ, Bangalore, Loyola, Chennai. Um, we, have, we have close to 30 partner institutions in India, you can go to our website. To, to know more about that. Uh, is this, does the university conduct exam or admission through 
or the administrative GMAT. So one of the things I think you need to hear me out over here is the admission procedure. Uh, we are not going to look at your English proficiency test. You don't have to do IELTS. You don't have to do TOEFL. Uh, plus, we, we are not going to look at your GMAT, GRE scores or anything. You can simply go to our website, apply online, and then we have an application form, which is really important, which consists of Q&A as well. And we also have, um, and we also check your English level in that. Uh, now, how GMAT helps you? GMAT helps you with only uh, something called a GMAT scholarship, where we also look at your GRE score as well as your CAT score. Um, I've done my master's in veterinary science. Can I pursue MBA in international marketing? We have an in, we don't have an MBA in international marketing. We have an MBA, a regular MBA called the international MBA. However, even if you have done your veterinary science, as long as you've got three years of work experience, you're eligible to do an MBA program. But you need to also check, does this program has, can give you a value to you or not? All right, uh, I have 51 person on my graduation with seven plus years. Yes, you are eligible. Uh, that is to Mr. Kaushik. Then Ayush, what points What points make a stronger profile for a final admit? Application form, as if you screw your application, if you screw your application form, we screw the application by itself. So the application form is really important. And the next big thing is your resume and then the interview process. As long as you're done with these three, uh, everything should be perfect. All right. Uh, a BC agriculture graduate with one year work experience. Can I get admission in international business management? Uh, I believe you're talking about the masters in international business. Yes, you can. What points make, okay, that I've already said that is GMAT mandatory for MBA. GMAT is not mandatory for MBA. As I said before, so the main reason is that we don't want to define uh, we don't want to define a student by your score. We don't want to define you by your scores or something. Maybe you might you, you might have not liked your school or your program. You weren't interested, but you might have some managerial or some innovative mind. And a lot of our alumni have that, um, which is why we have decided to use this unconventional uh, method, which has been recognized by the government as well. What points, uh, you said that, does participation, extracurricular and social activities, of course, it adds extra points for a strong profile. We don't want profile who's only uh, uh, going to have their bookish knowledge. We need people who's, who's dynamic in life. All right. Tuition fees for international MBA. Well, you can check in our... Um, our application, I um, mean, our website, but it's uh, it's going to be 26,000 euros for the entire program, which is below 21 lakhs. So, yeah. Uh, what all documents are required? Uh, your own, your resume or CV, your transcripts, your certificates, uh, your passport copy, IELTS or TOEFL optional. You can also do Duolingo if you want, GMAT, GRE, CAT score, which we also accept for Indian students only, is also optional. All right. Is there a fee waiver for exceptional performance during the course? Uh, we do have fee waiver, uh, but that's like a scholarship. It's a merit-based scholarship, which look as which looks at your performance in uh, in general. I've done my MCOM, and after eleven years of working experience in accounting and financial management, am I eligible? Uh, you can. You 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 are eligible for sure. Uh, you can also get in touch with Campus France if you want more information, because I think you should. Is there any application fee I have completed? Yes, there is an application fee of 100 euros. Uh, the same question. What is the average ROI for your MBA? How many percentages of the last year batch was placed from your campus? Uh, major sectors where you're... Okay, uh, the ROI question, it will take time. I, I request you to send me an email because we are still doing the statistical report of last year. But just to give you a gist about where everybody's working, um, a lot of them are working for Decathlon. We got a few folks working for Renault, for Nissan, and uh, we also got folks working for Capgemini as well. Uh, so basically, they're mainly in Paris, that is at La Défense, or they've gone back to other 
to their own countries where they're working for a French firm or to other countries. Okay. Is there any application fee per gig? You, you asked me this question a couple of times. I did not wish to answer. Uh, what's the difference with the international? What difference will the international MBA make? Uh, I don't understand on what basis you want to ask this question, but um, an MBA is always an MBA. You can't you can't exactly differentiate that with a normal master of science course. A master of science is more of a specialized program. So if you know that you want to specialize in digital marketing or something, then definitely uh, you need to go for that. However, if you just want to grow within your industry and if you have the, the, the valid work experience levels, then yes, you can do uh, the MBA program. What should I do after PhD? You tell me, I mean, uh, I, I have no answers to that. It depends on what you want to do. Is there a strong possibility of getting a work visa after MBA? So let me give you, let me, let me explain you what happens after you complete a program. Uh, so when you study in France and if the school has certain uh, elite accreditations, especially the regional ones, uh, for us it's the Conférence Grande École, um, or the CEFDG, uh, you're eligible. So after you complete your program, especially master's program, you're eligible to have a stay back option of two years. That's only for Indian nationals, while all the other nationals got one year. So if you have the, the below, if you see at the presentation, the accreditations that's there in France, if you have these two or something called as the RNCP, then you're eligible to stay back for two years, giving you almost equal rights of a French citizen to search for a job. But yes, French language play a role uh, when you try to find a job because our friend, because you know, when it comes to work culture or something, French language plays an important role. Uh, all right, is there a, yeah, I answered that. Is there a stay back option available after graduation? As I just mentioned that right now. You do have a stay back option of two years. And in that two years, if you find a job, your visa gets converted to a work visa, depending on you and the company. Agri business management is provided by a college. We don't have something specifically on agricultural business management, but we do have students who want to do get into this field. And we have some alumni who are already strong in the sector. Uh, they normally do the masters in international business. Do you have hostel within the campus for MBA? What's the approx cost for lodging? All right, let me go to the expenses, all right? Um, so living expense, I always say 10,000 a year. That is 8 lakh rupees as per today's um, conversion rates. Well, I'm giving you approximate values. So in terms of, so yeah, that's that's how much the living expense is. Uh, but just to give you a brief, our fee structure for the entire program is between 11 lakhs, that is from the Master of Science program, um, to 21, no, 24 lakhs. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the three-year bachelor program. Anyway, do you have travel and tourism management? We do not have that program. Are there enough part-time jobs and internships? We do have part-time jobs and internships. However, that also depends on your knowledge in French. If you want to do a client-based um, part-time job or internship, you need to learn French. How long is the MBA course? Nine months in class, four to six months of internship or capstone project. So we say one year. What is the average salary for placement? <clears throat> that depends on programs to programs. We have mentioned that on our latest brochures that was released a week ago. You can send me an email um, and I will get back to you. I will share you the brochure. My email ID is there on the screen. Is French being taught in your school? Yes, French is being taught in the school, but it's always good to start before. Is the stay back option for two years for all the students? Or is it for stipulated number? So it is for all the students, because I heard it was for 250 students. There is no numbers as such as per the legal laws that is there at present. Uh, but yeah, so stay back options there for everyone. 
And normally for Indian students, it's two years, while all the other nationals, it's one year. Do you offer PSG programs for social work? No, we don't. Sir, could you please tell us about accommodation and amenities for students? We have more than 100 clubs and associations all the way from sports to arts to comedy to theater. Um, in sports, we got rugby, American football. We got cricket with the Indian students. We got football. Uh, we got swimming. We got rowing. We got billiards. We got bowling. There's a lot of sports. There's a lot of sports so, and, I mean, a lot of clubs and associations. Um, in terms of housing or accommodation, we have a service department that normally gets in touch with uh, the, what we, I mean, uh, with all the agencies or let's just say people who are ready to share their houses uh, to international students. And you can always get in touch with us. We are we'll, always there to help you out with that. When you organize, please give us a list of parts. Okay, that's not for me. Is the French taught in school? I've said that already. Need After one year master's stay back period of two years is applicable? Yes, it is applicable. Is there 100% placements? Uh, we don't use the word placement. Uh, we always say career guidance. However, we do reach 100%. Um, so in career guidance, how we help you is that I got a few minutes to explain that. All right. So uh, in career guidance, we have the corporate relations and the career service that works together. Uh, so we have the normal career fairs that happens in campus and whichever campus it happens, we'll provide you the transportation. We have virtual career fairs that is completely online that cater to our international partners. Most of the companies are, so we got LNT from Mumbai who records French and Indian students for various projects around the world. Uh, TCS for Middle East and other uh, and European countries as well. Uh, we got the Indo-French Chamber of Commerce, uh, Franco Hong Kong Chamber of Commerce. So we got a lot of them coming for that. Uh, for MBA students, we also have an MBA career fair. Then we have a talent program. Uh, the talent program is to revamp your resume and your uh, cover letter. At the same time, it also it also organizes mock interview drills that helps a lot of students to uh, prepare themselves for interviews. We also have networking events like corporate talk and after work, which is, so after work is an informal networking event that happens in a park or in a bar or a club or in a hotel or in a restaurant. It happens anywhere. All right. Nathan, all right, 100% placement within France or EU. When I say 100% is all over the world, it's not, I'm not just talking about France or EU. Uh, we do have few students working in India, like the Campus France manager in Mumbai is an alumni of ESEG working in India. Uh, her His wife is working at the Canadian consulate in India. We also have folks working in various embassies. We got folks working in the big co French companies at Airbus, at Accor, at Decathlon. So we got every, we got folks in every country and a lot of French companies and also international companies. And we also have a lot of students, uh, at least 20 to 30 percent of our students that try to go for entrepreneurship startups. So, yeah. What visa one should apply in France after two years? PSW expires. Sorry for asking my research on France is not up to the market yet. Uh, after two years. So after completing, so when you're studying, it's a student visa. When you complete your program, you get something called APS visa, which is renewed in France. And after that, if you come back to France, uh, to India, you can get a five-year visa, which is known as an alumni visa, which is also, which you can also get it for your spouse or kids in your future if you get married. Uh, what effect is Brexit playing a role? Well, it's a positive thing for us. Uh, Paris campus, La Défense, the region became the biggest financial consulting hub after the Brexit situation and even during it. Sir, is there any campus selection is leaked? Is there any campus selection? There's no campus selection if you're talking about placements. Is your university process visa form? Uh, we don't do that, uh, but you got Campus France. They do the counseling as well as help you out with the visa. and. Uh, we are also there to give you some guidance. Uh, does the years of study count for PR or blue card? Uh, not exactly. There are ECTs that plays a role, but we pass the ECTs. 
Uh, but yeah, for PR, well, of course, you need to learn the language because you need to go through an exam. I guess my time is over. Or do I have more time? Okay. PDF or DSC, I want. I don't know what's that. Kindly help for Germany. I'm not for Germany, I'm for France. Do we get recordings of the webinar? I think, I'm not sure, that's not for me. Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Thank you. Of your presentation, uh, and uh, we would like to uh, formally extend uh, a note of thanks to the IESEG School of Management of France, in, Thank you. and to you, Dithin Joseph, in particular, for your time and for your contribution to the success of the virtual fair. And uh, before we let you go, may I request you to kindly identify and select two of the most interesting and relevant questions which uh, uh, which you would like to. Uh, for giving prizes to the student. Uh, yes, so there is someone with the name Mr. Dinesh uh, Dariraku, which spoke about the effects, uh, what effects is Brexit playing a role uh, like for us in placements? So that is one question that I would like to put into that. The second one would be, there was one that I kind of spoke about. Ah, la, la. Yeah, agri business management is provided by your college or not? All right. So with that, uh, we come to the end of your session. And uh, I'm very happy that we started on time. We have finished on time. And uh, it's really happening uh, in, a, in a very uh, methodical way. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, thank you for your uh, contribution, and uh, I would say that a uh, 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 big thanks also to the students who are actively participating, asking you uh, relevant questions. Uh, those of you who have asked questions but not received an answer, uh, please rest assured that we will be sending all the questions yes. uh, from the system to Nitin Joseph. And uh, along with the questions, Nitin will also receive the name of the student along with the email address. So, Nitin, you will have the possibility to, you know, stay in touch with the students who have participated in your session, who have expressed an interest and desire to join your school of management, and you can, you know, then uh, answer their questions and take this uh, process forward. Thank you very much. Thank you, and uh, we will log you out. Bye for now. Bye.